Well, g'day everyone. Uh, one of the things that you have to get used to doing if you're a YouTuber or you do this sort of job that I'm doing is having confidence to talk in front of the camera. Now, I'm lucky because I had a lecturing background. I'm, I am a fully qualified teacher, um, so I can talk uh, quite easily. But sometimes, particularly if you're going through very sort of detailed specifications, I end up having to go through uh, those specifications over and over again because you make mistakes when you're trying to read them or memorize them. So this is where something like a teleprompter can come in and be very, very handy. Uh, and in fact, I've never really used one until I got asked if I'd like to review a unit. Uh, and I thought, well, well, why not? I thought I'd have a look at it just to see how it would work. Uh, and that's the unit that I'm looking at now. So let me just show you what the unit is. This is sort of how the unit works. You can see the text that's sort of displayed from here, from the iPhone uh, or the phone that sat down the bottom through here. Um, if we want to have a look, and I'll show you the a little bit more about this. Uh, if we look at this area here, you'll see where the camera connects onto the back of this unit. Uh, your smartphone sits in here, and if you have a small tablet, uh, that would fit in there. It must be something like an iPad Air. I've got the 12.9 iPad, and that doesn't fit with this system. So you get two little holders. You get one for a phone, which is what I use, and then you also get one for an adapter, and you can replace them and use the one that you need. Um, they're saying especially designed for iPhones. Now you can control everything about this, which way the text faces, um, how fast that text will scroll, things like that. So it's very, very good in how this works. Um, inside the package, you actually get one times teleprompter, you get eight adapter rings. Now I'll just show you those uh, adapter rings. This is the package that it sort of comes in out of the box. Uh, you get uh, a remote control just to show you that, uh, and I'm gonna um, take you through that separately to show you how this works. Um, this is the adapter for your iPad. Uh, if you've got, it must be, like I said, a very small one. Um, and then you get these adapter rings that come through. There's a whole series of them. This one, for instance, is a 62, uh, millimeter adapter uh, as well. Uh, you get a little screwdriver for changing those adapters uh, depending on whether you want to use it with a, a, a iPad or a small tablet and the iPhone. A little cleaning cloth. Um, and let me just click back and I'll show you the different sizes that we get with those. Um, you get eight adapters. There's 49 millimeter, 52, 55, 58, uh, 62, 67, 72, and 77. Uh, I'm using the, uh, I think it's the 67 is the one that's on the uh, Sigma 16 mil on the A6400 at the moment. Uh, and I'll show this being put together uh, soon so you can see how it all works. Um, you get the one remote trigger, two times smartphone clamps. Uh, like I said, one's a smartphone and one's for like a very, very small tablet. I think that's how it works, but it would have to be pretty small. Um, foam rings and microfiber cloth as well. Um, the reflection seems to be really nice how it works. It's very, very easy to read. So uh, I just thought I'd show you the website where you can get it from. Now we'll stick the links down below too if you're interested in having a look at this as well. Okay, so let's now have a look at how this unit works and how it's put together. All right, so let's look at how this comes in the box. Now you can see I've, I've mounted it onto a tripod. This is the way that you would use this. It does come with this one in store, which is for your phone. And I'll show you that uh, a little bit later when I put the phone in. Uh, there's a little cover there that you can use uh, that just protects the glass at the front. So there is glass at the front here. That's what the text reflects on. Um, on the back, if we look at this, you can see here that this is where your camera will go into. Now on your camera itself, I'll show you that now how it all fits in. So on the camera, you've got these filters that just screw in. Now, depending on what size lens you have, uh, like I said, this is the 67 millimeter filter thread on here. You, you just uh, screw that into your um, filter mount uh, there. Now, if I turn this around, all you then do is this attaches into the back like this. And then you just flick it up until it clicks. And that's it, it's in. Uh, it won't come out, it locks it in fairly steady. You can sort of see there that um, it's now sort of set in. Now you can see the lens at the moment, but you won't see that once uh, it's filming with the text, it doesn't show. So then all you do is you launch the app, uh, you put that into here, Close that down. Now you can see it'll show, now you may not see it from that angle, but it will show as it scrolls through here. And if I press play um, 
through that section there, it'll then start to move down. That's really just how the system works. So it's very, very simple to use. Uh, and you just mount that, like I said, on your tripod and you're right to go. Okay, so let's look at the app. The app itself is called Best View. And if we open that up, I've already put something in that I copied and pasted, but I'll just take you through how this works. Uh, if we go into here, you can see that you've got multiple controls that you can go through here. Now, if you want to, you can make the text, uh, if you like, smaller. Uh, you can make it larger if you click on there. You can also control the speed that the text will flow through here as well. So I've got it down fairly slow. Uh, if you want to, you can take it up and go very, very fast. You can also change the font color and your background uh, colors through here as well, which is really nice. Now you can mirror it. Now why you, that's important is because it needs to be facing backwards here so that I see it the correct way on the glass. Uh, if I go back now, you'll see that it's gonna go for 41 seconds. All I did was I copied it off uh, Safari and pasted it into this app. And then if you press the play button, you'll see that it'll just go uh, through at that speed. And that speed is set by that setting that I had just before. Again, you can move this up and down if you wanted to go around, or, or you can use the remote control like I showed before if I wanted to, uh, and then press the stop or play. I can take it from that as well, so you don't have to sit right at it, which is very, very handy. The app is actually really nice, very, very simple, but it certainly gets the job done. So let's look at the remote control. Uh, so there is a button here, which is your power on button that you can see there. Uh, this button at the front is your start and stop. That will start uh, the text moving and also pause the text moving. You can even use the jog wheel if you want to use it that way. This is a menu button which has no relevance, I believe, in iOS. It might be used for Android. Uh, then you've got your up and down button, so that will move the text up or down. And this will slow the uh, text down and this will speed the text up. So you can set it so that the text moves forward in a speed that you're really comfortable with. And it's a really nice little remote control. I mean, it is only plastic, um, but it certainly does what it's required to do. Now, build quality. Uh, the build quality is, uh, it's plastic. I mean, look, it's it's a, it's only a very cheap type model for what it is, but I mean, you've got to think you're only paying over $100 for this whole unit, but it certainly does the job, and that's what's really good about this. Like, it's also very, very light, so there's no real pressure or anything like that put on the lens, which is really good uh, as well. Uh, the whole system seems to work very, very well, but like I said, you do have to understand that the, this price point that you're looking at here, uh, it, it is is going to be a plastic type unit. The glass and everything though seems to be like it, it works very, very well. So what do I think about this overall? I, I think it's really good. I mean, um, it's only small, so you do have to sit within a reason, uh, a sort of reasonable distance to read it. You don't want to get too close to it though, because then you'd start to see the eyes moving um, side to side. So where I'm sitting, I think is is fairly good. Uh, it certainly isn't something that I'd use all the time, but it certainly is something that I will use uh, if I'm reading out specifications and things like that. And I think that will save a lot of time for me having to constantly cut and edit it due to the fact of having to try and memorize so many things. So I I think it's a very useful thing to have in your arsenal if you're doing videos and reviews of gear and things like I do. It's small enough to even take with you on location or whatever else you wanted to do. Let me know what you think about it anyway. Uh, I'll leave the links down below. Bye for now.